Hello, I'm Ulises Gascon and this is my YouTube channel. I'm going to show you today in this video how you can synchronize your Markdown files with Jira Confluence. Okay, so here's the workflow. We're going to create a GitHub repository. In the GitHub repository, we're going to include the Markdown files. Anytime that we do any change on the Markdown file, we're going to do, and we're going to run a linter, we're going to have some NPM scripts that are going to help us with the publication. Every time that we push those changes into the main branch, we are going to synchronize the changes directly with Jira Confluence. That's the idea, as simple as that. I'm going to show you now in details how all this magic works. You have two dependencies, Cosmir, which is the tool in charge of the synchronization with the Jira Confluence, and then Markdown Lint, so it's helping us to lint in the files. Let's talk about the files. Basically, we have a readme that is synchronized uh, with Jira later on with the typical structure. Then we have a more simplistic uh, demo file that includes some tables and more markdown advanced structures. And the last file is a multimedia. We can see now the files in Jira. Basically, we have the same readme as before. Then we have demo page as well properly translated, we can see the table and we can see the multimedia. As we only can synchronize the information to Jira and not from Jira to the markdown, it's good to include like a kind of a warning message so the people know that they should edit this file outside of Jira. We have three npm scripts that are going to do all the hard publish, lint and lint fix, so we can use for linting the files and publish the content to Jira. Here is the Cosmere configuration, basically we have the pages that map out the markdown files with the Jira Confluence pages, then we have the base URL, the catch path, and also we have the prefix, which is the message that we saw. You will need to credentials, basically the Confluence password, that is your API token. You need to generate this from Jira, and then you have your Confluence username, which normally is your email app. You should include this information as a secret in your GitHub repository configuration. So here is where the magic of the automation happens. We basically have this workflow that it's going to install the dependencies, link the files, and publish the content using the previously set up credentials when a new change arrives to main branch. Here we have the GitHub action output. Basically, we can see all the details when the synchronization happened. The script is smart enough to know if it needed to synchronize more files or no. It was an easy workflow, right? So now you don't have any excuses to then synchronize your documentation properly. So here's my question to you, and I want to see your answer in the comments. Are you using Mardon to document your project? Actually, are you using Jira Confluence at all? Let me know how you use that in your work.